Well, May's spike in violent crime in Baltimore has pushed into June. However, a noted criminologist tells our I team tonight it is much too soon to declare an actual real upward trend. Lead investigative reporter Jane Miller is live in the newsroom to explain. Jane. Kate, no doubt about it. May was an awful month on the homicide front in Baltimore, but it, but the city wasn't alone. Other cities too are seeing those awful news headlines, seeing killings rise, just as the criminologist says, we've seen crime rise and fall before. From police command to the street corner, Baltimore's spike in homicides has caused plenty of concern. Year to date, at 128 murders, Baltimore is up 44% over the same time last year. But by telephone today from his office in Boston, criminologist James Allen Fox advised, take a deep breath. I would not carry away. I think this uh... Chicken little mentality here. People are hysterical. A little bit of calmness would would be in order. To be sure, Baltimore is a dubious leader of the pack in the homicide increase, but other cities are seeing spikes too. New York City's homicides are up 18 percent year to date. Chicago is seeing the same amount of increase. Dr. Fox says cities have seen similar spikes before. Uh, I think people are focusing too much on very little. That these are short term. Narrow window of time increases that most of the time will dissipate. Fox downplays the idea of a police slowdown, the so called Ferguson effect, he calls it. This, too, he says, is likely to pass. In the long run, if there's a, some hesitancy or gun shy, uh, that, will, that will take care of itself as well. That was not going to last. Homicides in Milwaukee are nearly double this year over last. Houston, St. Louis, also cities with significant increases. But criminologist Fox notes how much violent crime has dropped in the past 10, 15 years. What goes down, he says, will go up. Reporting live tonight from the newsroom, I'm Jane Miller, WBAL TV 11 News.